Okay, so now we're going to show you guys how to do the candlestick. Um, and if you're going to learn this one at home, you definitely want to spot her and you need to be really careful. Um, okay, so we'll just show it to you. This is how I like to get into it. different ways to get into it. I like this way because it's super easy. We'll just be dancing and I'll be, so I'm going to ask the girl while we're dancing if she wants to do this one first. Make sure that she's done it before. You're going to want to try this on the floor for the girl that hasn't done it. Okay? So what we do, butterfly upside down. I'm just going to stay kind of on the fingertips. I'm going to spin her once, set her hands over top of my neck. Okay? The reason I have to ask her, she's got to know that she needs to clasp her hands behind my neck. Do you want to explain them how the hands work? Yeah, so you're just going to have your hands like this on his neck. And then your weight is all going to be on your forearms, which is going to be on, your sh on his shoulders. So you're going to want to kind of pull his head towards yours so that you've got a good stable base. And gentlemen, that means you've got to think about keeping your head up and your back straight. And that's going to be important to make this move so that it's easy. If the girl is real loose um, with her arms, it's going to be harder because Instead of hinging like a door, she's gonna, her whole body's going to want to float, and it's just going to be heavier for the guy. Okay, so girls, you want to hold on tight, okay? And make sure you put that pressure. Okay, then, and we're, we'll go ahead and turn just for a minute. We're just going to do the first part, and when you learn this, you want to practice it just like this, okay? Practice getting into it until it feels good. Then, just practice taking the girl and hopping, and she's going to go to the guy's right hip, to the left hip, and then set her back on her feet, okay? Um, that's really important. You want to get good at that, okay, to where you're feeling comfortable. Um, since you, sometimes you wear your muscles out learning this too, so if it, don't, don't try it all at once. If you start getting tired, don't keep going. Rest, let your muscles reboot, okay. Um, so anyway, so then the next thing we'll practice, once we get feeling good at that, is we're going to go right, left, then the girl's going to do the splits, go center, and I'll put her back on her feet, okay. And then that's all of the prep for the last part. For the final part, um, once we're good at that, then, and we'll go ahead and we'll do this sideways again, is uh, I want to I wanna take the girl up, and we'll just do it part way, because the first time you do it, it's really hard. Okay, so we do the whole thing. She does the split, she's going to go up, and she, you can set her on her feet, or you can practice coming back into the splits like we did. Because when you're coming down from clear up here, if you take that girl down to her feet, she's going to hit the ground hard. Okay? So the best thing to do, and just go, we'll just go right to the splits. Okay? The best thing to do, <laughs> you got it. Okay, the best thing to do is going to be take her up, she comes back in the splits, set her down. Okay? That lets your muscles and everything absorb the shock so that you don't hurt her feet. You always want to clarify with the girl. If you haven't taken the time to learn it with her yet, like you meet somebody new who knows it, clarify, hey, I'm bringing you back down into the splits and then to your feet. Otherwise, she might think she's going to the ground and you're going to plow her feet right to your knees. Or if she thinks you're going to do the splits and you want to put her on the ground, then she's going to come in for the splits and you're going to let go. She's going to hit the ground. And that's all bad. <laughs> so just make sure you both know what is going to happen. All right. So then, once you've got all of the swinging and everything down, then you just practice that last part, okay? And just go up to here, okay? And then slowly work it up, just a little bit higher and a little bit higher, okay? Um, and that's when you really need a spotter is for when you're going up high. I like to bend one knee yeah, and arch my back, and that keeps the balance all aligned, or you can just go straight up and down. If you ever get to the point, gentlemen, where you feel like the girl's going to go over backwards, all you do is you're going to take a step backwards yourself, 
and pull her forwards and she will come right down to the front, which is where you need, and she'll come right back into the splits. Okay. So we'll just do that last part one more time. Okay, and go away. So we're gonna go up. If I ever think she's going over the back, I'm gonna step backwards. <laughs> And what that does is that takes her hips and your hips out of a line and it's going to bring her back down to the front where she needs to be. That's how you do it to make sure you're being safe, okay?